Can incontinence be treated or cured, or is it a chronic condition that requires ongoing management? Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll be discussing a common concern that many people face, incontinence. Specifically, we'll explore whether incontinence can be treated or cured, or if it is a chronic condition that requires ongoing management. So, let's dive in and find out. Understanding Incontinence Before we address the question of treatment and management, let's first understand what incontinence is. Incontinence refers to the involuntary loss of urine or feces, which can significantly impact a person's quality of life. It can occur in various forms, such as stress incontinence, urge incontinence, or overflow incontinence. Treatment Options Now, let's talk about the treatment options available for incontinence. The good news is that incontinence can often be effectively treated and managed. The specific approach to treatment depends on the underlying cause and type of incontinence. Lifestyle changes in many cases, simple lifestyle changes can make a significant difference. For example, maintaining a healthy weight, adopting a regular exercise routine that includes pelvic floor exercises, and avoiding certain dietary triggers like caffeine and alcohol can help manage incontinence symptoms. Medications Medications may be prescribed to address specific types of incontinence. For example, anticholinergic drugs can help reduce bladder spasms and control urge incontinence. Other medications, such as alpha blockers or topical estrogen, may be used to treat stress incontinence or improve bladder control. Physical therapy Physical therapy, particularly pelvic floor muscle training, can be highly beneficial for individuals with incontinence. These exercises strengthen the muscles that support the bladder and can significantly improve bladder control. Physical therapists specialized in pelvic health can provide personalized guidance and exercises tailored to an individual's needs. Medical procedures and interventions In certain cases, medical procedures or interventions may be recommended. For instance, for severe stress incontinence, surgical procedures like sling procedures or bladder neck suspension may be considered. Advanced interventions like nerve stimulation or injections can also be options depending on the specific situation. Ongoing management while treatment can often alleviate or even eliminate incontinence symptoms, it is important to note that in some cases, incontinence may be a chronic condition that requires ongoing management. This means that even if the symptoms improve, continued efforts and strategies may be necessary to maintain bladder control and prevent future episodes of incontinence. Continence products for individuals with persistent or more severe incontinence, the use of continence products can be helpful in managing the condition. These products include absorbent pads, adult diapers, or catheters, which provide protection and support for individuals experiencing incontinence. Behavioral techniques Behavioral techniques play a vital role in managing incontinence on an ongoing basis. These techniques may include scheduled voiding, bladder training, and fluid management. By following a structured voiding schedule, Gradually increasing the time between bathroom visits and managing fluid intake, individuals can gain better control over their bladder function. Emotional support and education living with incontinence can be emotionally challenging, and it is essential to seek emotional support and education. Support groups, counseling, or educational resources can provide valuable guidance, encouragement, and coping strategies for individuals dealing with incontinence. In conclusion, Incontinence can often be treated or effectively managed, offering hope and relief to those experiencing its impact on their daily lives. Treatment options range from lifestyle changes and medications to physical, 